because they are so versatile. You can put them at a dining table, an entryway, you can put them at the end of the bed. I've even got one serving as a coffee table in my bedroom. So today we're gonna build another bench, but it's not just any bench. We're gonna build a beefy hairpin leg bench. Those are beefy. Yes, they are. All you need to build this beefy hairpin bench is six one by four by eights, two one by three by eights, a 16 inch wide by six foot long project panel, and six beefy legs. We'll be linking to those in the description box below. Where's the beef? Right here, baby. The first step to building this bench is getting everything off the table so we can actually build the bench. Safety first. Safety over fashion, apparently. The first step to building this bench is to mark center on this board. This is a 16 inch project panel. You can also use, like if you have a 16 inch piece of plywood, you can use that also. I loved that this was the exact size I needed it. That's a great way to use your leftover plywood. I have so many like random pieces. That's it. Ashley's gonna go home and make a bunch of random benches now. Next up on Shady the Chic. <laughs> DIY random End bench. tables, benches. <laughs> All right, Ashley, you gonna show them how to get started? All right, so we're gonna take our one by fours that we've already cut to the exact same 15 inches each, and we're going to mark 1.75 and 1.75. This top center is going to line up with the mark that we made on the panel. We draw a straight line down, and that one should line up as well. So see, we've got this line matching up to this line. We're butting up the end of the next one by four to the top of that first one by four, and let's attach it with one and a quarter inch brad nails and wood glue. Now we're gonna finish this off by alternating each board, making sure you're keeping that hairy bone pattern. So we've got the herringbone pattern finished. We've got these nailed in place. Now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna cut this excess off with a table saw and use those pieces to kind of fill in our gaps. And I've got a shanty tip for that. This is a one by three scrap and we're gonna use this as a guide and we've got screws on the top of it. So we're going to line the circ saw up exactly where we want those boards cut, which is the end of this project panel. So pull the cover off the blade a bit and then Whitney's gonna mark and that's where we're going to place this guide. All right, I've got my guide set and I'm ready to go. We're cutting the first long side and you can see all those pieces are falling down on the ground. Make sure that you save a couple of those for the end of the project. There you go. Smooth as butter. We made this cut, so we're gonna flip this over and do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> so now we can just grab some of these little guys. <laughs> Not that one. Okay, so he works right there. So I'm just gonna add a little wood glue, and nail it in place. It's a match. All right, so we've ripped off both sides already and now we've gotta rip off the excess on both ends. So we are putting a new guide at the end right here. And we're gonna use our circ saw the exact same way and just rip off these little guys that are sticking off right there. Smoking. Great job, Ash. So we're going to take this guide out, we'll flip this around, do the other side, and then we're ready for trim. All right, this is completely done. Now it's time to do the trim. So we are making the trim cuts for this now. We're using one by three wood for the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and make my first cut, because these are gonna be 45 degree angles, and then we'll take it over there and mark where our second cut needs to be. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach this first cut. We're adding a line of glue. This is going to line up flush with the top of our bench, which is why we still have the bench flipped down. We're cutting 45 degree angles on each end so that we have a nice finished off mitered edge on this edge. Measure and cut as you go. We're attaching them with wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails. All right, now for the fun part. It's the beefy leg time. So we're attaching these legs using one and a half inch back screws. Each leg has these little holes in it, as you can see, and we're just going through those holes and into each corner. We're also going to line two of our legs up in the center of the bench. All right, last screw. Moment of truth. Whoop, whoop. It was one bad, bad bench. bench. Yeah. Oh, so cute. All right, that's it, guys. I got those legs on Amazon, and even with the price of the wood included, we built this bench for under $100. 
And I love how the metal legs give it kind of that modern industrial feel, but the top keeps it really fun and traditional. Yeah, and it still looks like, it's like the perfect combination of rustic and modern. I totally agree. So if you build it, make sure that you send us your pictures and use hashtag Shaney to Chic on social media and make sure that you subscribe below. All right, all we gotta do now is give this thing a coat of stain and a finish and we're ready. So let's show them what the herringbone looks like and get our booties off of it. Oh, you saw the Sally for nothing. They don't call you one hit wonder Whitney for nothing. That's right. There's no I and T, Ashley. But there is an M and an E. So I've made a mark right here at four minutes. So I've made a mark right here at the edge of that. So I've made a mark right here where the edge. Mm -mm. <sighs> okay. Good down the Saturday. All right, everybody. Oh, stand by. You can put them at a dining table, you can put them in your entryway, you can put them, I forgot where else, let's do it again. It's a beefy pin, dang it. Yeah, well, let's show them what the herringbone looks like. We gotta get off Oh, of Lord. It. 